Moving on to the next example, we have to take a number, double it, and add it to 11, and then we have to take that resulting number and multiply it by a number that is three less than the original number. Express the final result as a function of the original number. Now, this question is a little tricky, and you will probably run into questions that are similar to this. It's more so tricky because of the wording. You have to follow the words very carefully. But let's try to work it through. So let's start off by introducing a variable x and let x equal the original number that we choose. And then let's let f of x equal the final result. So we start off with the original number so that's x, and then what are we doing to it? We're taking a number and then we're doubling it, so we're multiplying it by 2, and then we add it to 11. So we got 11 plus 2x. Then we take that resulting number and multiply it by a number that is 3 less than the original number, so x minus 3. And that ends up being our final result. Notice how it's a function. So one more time, we're taking a number x, we double it, so we multiply it by 2, and then we add it to 11. And then we take that resulting number, this bracket here, and multiply it by a number that is 3 less than the original number. Our original number is x, and 3 less than that would be x minus 3 and then multiplying both of these numbers, that gives us our final result. So to test this, you can pick any random value for x and see if you can get the same result by going through the words intuitively and then plugging it into the function. So for example, let's say that we test it with a number seven. All right, so that's our original number. So let's go through the steps. So we take a number, we double it. So we double seven, so that's 14. And then add it to 11. 14 plus 11 gives us 25. And then we take that resulting number, 25, and multiply it by a number that is three less than the original number. So our original number is seven, three less than seven is four. So we take the 25 and multiply it by four, and we end up getting a value of 100. So let's test this original value of seven with our function that we have. So we would see what we get as a final result when our original number is seven. So just plugging in seven for the x values. So two times seven is 14 plus 11 is 25. And then seven minus three is four and we end up getting the same result, 100, that we got over there. So it worked, so we know our function is correct. You'll probably run into a couple of these types of questions in your book, so just follow the same process, introduce a variable, make it equal to the original number, and then just follow the words carefully, and then make a function that, uh, that describes the final result.